Surging mortgage rates leave little to no relief for home buyers. U.S. home sales continue to stumble while mortgage rates keep climbing. As mortgage rates rise, here's how to decide whether you should buy a home or rent one. Hi, I'm Caitlin Wright with The Right Choice at Properties, Christie's International Real Estate in St. Charles. We've all heard or seen these headlines on the news and in papers, and even online, but let's truly break it down. One factor that could help you make your decision to buy now is how today's mortgage rates compare to historical data. While higher than the average 30-year fixed rate in our most recent years, the latest rates are still comparatively low when you look at the bigger picture of where rates have been since 1971. An average 30-year fixed mortgage rate of 5.8% is still well below the historical average of nearly 8%. Interest rates reached their highest point in modern history in 1981, when the annual average rate was 16.63%, according to Freddie Mac data. Yes, back when some of our parents bought their first homes, they were in double digits. So, if you're deciding whether to buy now or wait, this is crucial context to have. Today's mortgage rate still gives you a window of opportunity to lock in a rate that's comparatively lower than decades past, and rates are projected to increase and hover around 6% by the end of the year. If you're on the fence about what your next move is, comment or DM me. And as always, reach out to myself or Mary Kate Wright with any of your real estate related questions.